This is Joe Wong. Welcome to the Trap Set. I want to play something for you. I can see, can't you see? Red tape! Do it to you, do it to me. Red tape! Rock with and we're losing. Red tape! Kill it, you, kill it. You're hearing Red Tape by Circle Jerks, featuring my guest, Lucky Learer, on drums. Lucky joined Circle Jerks in 1979, and as founding drummer, his ferocious style and jazz-influenced agility helped the band become standard bearers of the Southern California hardcore scene. The albums he played on are widely regarded as punk classics. He subsequently performed with bands such as Bad Religion, Red Cross, Darby Crash, and Wasted Youth. In recent years, his primary creative focus has been on improvised comedy. I spoke to Lucky in downtown Los Angeles. Can you remember the first punk record that you heard? I can remember the first show. What could be a better anointing to punk rock than seeing the Sex Pistols? Did it resonate with you? in a way different from other music you'd heard up until that time? Well, it was completely different, and I saw something comedic in it. Yeah. So that was a a common denominator that uh, registered with me. I didn't see it as completely serious, but I saw it as something new, so to speak, an effort to really reduce things. It kind of created the segue for me to uh, shift gears and get into the improvised comedy. At least a couple of your albums are kind of landmark albums that anybody that listens to punk rock listens to. At the time, did it feel like you were making groundbreaking music? People listen and, you know, then you interpret. Mm -hmm. That's like, I believe that's the fundamental. Listen closely, then put your own spin on it, and that becomes an informed personal opinion. But I think it's interesting how, like, you know, this one world that you were in first cycled around and influenced the other world that you're involved in. There's a lot of connections. With improv, they like to say that there's no rules, but there are some suggestions. And a lot of those suggestions have a common denominator when you're doing improvised music. For example, one of the classic tools of being a good comedic improviser is to listen carefully. So listening carefully to the gifts and things that your partner's saying is a key tool. So you have some upcoming improv projects, right? I've got a show coming up with improv comedy at the Pack Theater. That's going to be comedy, but it's again comedy with a musical twist. So it's music and comedy. I like that a lot because I'm able to transport some of the traditional improv skills and mix it up with music, which is a particular interest of mine. If you talk about improvised comedy, you're setting up a framework. In in improvised comedy, it's referred to as a concept called yes and. When the person says, good morning, madam, you're going to respond with something. You have to contribute something. It can't deny what's been thrown in, and hopefully you enhance it with some creative thing. The goal always being to make your scene partner look good. It's a selfless form of presentation. And all these principles apply to some of the great jam bands, like we've talked about Grateful Dead. Another one was the Allman Brothers. We know that they listen to improvised greats like Miles Davis. Kind of Blue album is probably but one classic example, using those skills when a, a player throws out an, an ostinato or a riff, accepting that, that's the yes part, and enhancing it, making them look good, listening carefully, having the attitude that there's no mistakes. If someone hits a wrong note, what can you do to make it look like that wasn't the wrong note? Yes it, accept it, and then enhance it, and it.
for more drum tips from Lucky Lehrer, make sure to check out luckylehrer.com or definitely subscribe to the YouTube channel.